Good morning. How y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Monday morning. Yes, I'm having my coffee. Getting ready to go out the door. Y'all see my little new shirt? This is how you rap. Oh, that Subway. Hey, this is how you rap. You know them raps good. Y'all ain't trying them. Them spinach and, um, uh, what's the other flavor? Spinach and Chipotle. Spinach and something. I forgot to, uh, but anyway, they good. Y'all ought to try them. I do the spinach one with the Caesar chicken or the turkey bacon guacamole. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, they good. And they put some meat in them jokers. You hear me? You get two big old scoops of whatever kind of meat you get inside of that turkey. It's eight slices, but I don't never get all that turkey. That's too much. But, um, yeah, y'all need to check them out because they good. Okay, we're going to get into the daily bread. And it's going to be coming out the book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 3. The aged woman, likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much wine, teachers of good things. Mm -hmm. This is a great advice for anyone. But here, it is specifically given to older ones. Older women. They are to have holy character reflecting Jesus. They are not supposed to drink too much or falsely accuse people. Lastly, they are to teach good things. It is interesting that older women are instruct, instruct to teach. Knowing they have a lot of wisdom. They are instructed to pass their wisdom on. That's a good one, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. So here's the prayer. Father in heaven, you are the great teacher. You know all and you teach others your truths. Help me to grow and mature into a good teacher of your truth. Instill wisdom in me so that I can, so I age other benefit from knowing me. Help me to have character that is worthy of your calling and reflects your holiness in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Don't you just love them? Mm -mm -mm. Yes. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Not false accusers, not giving too much wine, teachers of good things. <laughs> uh oh, I hit judges. I'm sorry, y'all. It's uh, types. <laughs> y'all get that big uh, X small. <laughs> Yes, I like that. I like that. See, the Lord, he be communicating with us. He know what he be doing. He know what he doing. Honey, sit, let go and let God. Because I'm going through something right now, like on my job, that I ain't too happy about. But, oh, I got to sneeze. Hold on. <laughs> Woo! Bless it, Lord. <laughs> I'm going through a little something on my job. I know they're trying to get everybody trained and everybody settled, but... I don't know. I'm just going to pray about it. I'm going to be about it. I'm going to do the best I can. But I don't know, Jesus. I don't know. I don't know. Got to get, I got to get this one to Jesus, y'all. It's 444. Praise your holy name, dear Jesus. Give, forgive me for my sins. You know, I like angelic numbers. Like the triple threes, triple fours, and stuff like that. I haven't read nothing bad about it otherwise. So I just, you know, when you see certain numbers keep appearing in front of you, like I just saw the uh, triple fours. They say pray. They say an angel or uh, God's presence is near you and is trying, they're trying to communicate with you. And I got, what I was getting ready to say was about my job. And I guess he's telling me, just shut up because everything's going to be okay. I got you. Don't worry about it because the Lord ain't going to put no more on me than I can bear. Now, you see how God works. He works, y'all. He works in mysterious ways. Y'all just let him control your life and, and, and follow his lead. Follow his lead. Follow his lead. Okay, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. I got to get ready to get out of here. Oh, Jesus, Lord. Let me taste this coffee, see if it's still hot. Oh, that hit the spot. Oh, y'all have a blessed day. Bye now.